हेलो एवरीवन आज की वीडियो में हम बात करने वाले हैं ट्रेड ड्रायर के बारे में सो ट्रेड ड्रायर इस्तेमाल किया जाता है ड्राइंग ऑपरेशन के लिए जैसा कि आप सभी को पता है हम हमारी चल रही है फार्मास्यूटिकल इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट की नेक्स्ट यूनिट जिसमें हम बात करने वाले हैं ड्राइंग की तो ड्राइंग एक ऐसा यूनिट ऑपरेशन है जो कि आप फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोडक्ट में इंप्लॉय करते हैं इन ऑर्डर टू रिमूव द मॉइस्चर एंड इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द कंसनट्रेटेड ड्राइड प्रोडक्ट उसके लिए हम इस्तेमाल करते हैं ड्रायर्स को अलग अलग तरीके के ड्रायर्स रहते हैं आपके सिलेबस में आपको ट्रेड ड्रायर स्टडी करना है ड्रम ड्रायर स्प्रे ड्रायर फ्लूडाइज बेड ड्रायर एंड फ्रीज ड्रायर तो हम अपनी वीडियो स्टार्ट करते हैं वी विल स्टार्ट विद द ट्रेड ड्रायर सो ट्रेड ड्रायर आज की वीडियो में हम लोग डिटेल में स्टडी करने वाले हैं ये सबसे ज्यादा कॉमनली यूज किए जाने वाला ड्रायर है इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल प्लांट ऑपरेशन ट्रेड ड्रायर्स को हम कभी कभार कैबिनेट शेल्फ और कंपार्टमेंट ड्रायर के नाम से भी जानते हैं नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द प्रिंसिपल द प्रिंसिपल बिहाइंड ट्रेड ड्रायर इज द मटीरियल विच नीड टू बी ड्राइड यू नीड टू स्प्रेड इट ऑन द टायर्स ऑफ द शेल्फ एंड यू नीड टू अलाउ टू इंट्रोड्यूस द एयर एट द स्पीड ऑफ टू 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 फीट पर मिनट मीन्स पर मिनट यू नीड टू सप्लाई एयर एट दिस रेट इट विल रेंज फ्रॉम टू हंड्रेड टू टू थाउजेंड सो इट विल हैपन दिस हीटेड एयर विल अलाउ टू ट्रांसफर द हीट ऑन टू द मटीरियल विच यू हैव प्लेसड ऑन द टायर्स ऑफ द शेल्स एंड द मटीरियल विल गेट ड्राइड नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ दिस ट्रायर before uh, going into the detail let me show you the structure of trade dryer this is how it looks like see you can see now this is a cabinet like structure so it exactly look like the same it has a cabinet like structure which is made up of a stainless steel these walls are made up of stainless steel it has uh, this you can say at the front there is a door which uh, provides entry for the fresh air and uh, behind uh, this door at the back there is an exhaust and in, in between the, this cabinet there are number of adjustable lowers or you can say shelves which has perforations okay and beneath these you have uh, incorporated on this side a heater to provide heat to the air and at this side you have provided a fan for the circulation of air now what we'll do we'll start our working how this tray dryer works so first of all the material need to be dried you need to put it on here so you will put your material which need to be dried it may be powdered for example you have made granules right so you need to dry them so you will put your granules weighed granules on to the trays you will put granules on number of trays there can be n number of trays if you talk about a laboratory scale tray dryer there will be 2 to 3 number of shelves okay but if you talk of a uh, industrial tray dryer there will be as much as uh, as much as of 20 number of shelves so this that uh, tray dryer will be very large in comparison to the laboratory tray dryer so what we'll uh, do in uh, working we will allow to put our material into the tray then from this inlet we will allow uh, the fresh air to introduce into the trays the air will start going down with the help of heater the air will transfer the heat into the air and your air will become heated so now your hot air will start flowing with the help of this fan this fan will allow to circulate the air in the upward direction or in the all direction you can say so when your air heated air will pass through these trays because they are perforated so your air will pass through these pores and it will reach to the material placed on these plates so what will happen the heated air will transfer its heat to the material and the air will get away from this you will open this adjustable wall and your heated air will remove from this exhaust so that air will take all the moisture present which was present in your material so now your material will be completely dried okay now let's talk about this was the working now let's talk about the usage of this dryer so where will you use this uh, dryer you will use this dryer for batch drying batch drying means to say when your uh, when the quantity of your pharmaceutical product is about 500 pound or less than that so that uh, quantity uh, would be carried out under the batch drying okay so once your 5 pound 500 pound of material will be dried then you will introduce another batch of the pharmaceutical product now comes the advantage the advantage of tray dryer is it is versatile means to say it can perform variety of function it can uh, dry variety of material it shows its versatility it can do variety of task okay so next advantage is it has low relative capital investment unlike fbd na F 
heavy-duty and freeze dryer. They are very expensive dryer, though they are very efficient, but they require a lot of capital investment. So here, in case of tray dryer, it comes the advantage. Now disadvantage due to loading and unloading. See, you you have seen that there are n numbers of uh, trays inside the tray dryer. There are approx 20 number of uh, trays. So you have to load and unload such number of trays uh, in each batch. So it will require labor intensive process, and at the resultant labor cost will be increased. Next is it is less efficient than FBD. Means to say, uh, the product dried from FBD will be dried within short span of time. Hana? But in case of tray dryer, you will require more time. So it shows it's less efficiency. So this was all about the tray dryer. Thanks for watching this video. We'll meet again in the another video. Then I'll talk about freeze dryer and the next dryer will be drum dryer. Thank you so much for watching.